Watch how Tesla full self-driving FSD intelligently and cleverly overtakes a garbage truck. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for interesting daily Tesla stories and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And if you would like to send me tips, that would be great for story ideas. Tesla's full self-driving, known as FSD, software is getting smarter and smarter, smarter with each update. Those of the, you who are familiar with the matter, you know what I'm talking about. And those of you who are test driving, you probably see it day by day or week by week because of the updates. Now that Tesla FSD driving is developed uh, or actually deployed for some users in the United States as a beta test, drivers do not hesitate to film the uh, the feats achieved by their Tesla vehicles, including this one that I'm about to show you in which Dave Max Model 3 intelligently passed the garbage truck in front of it. Before I go and tell you about this, Dave Mack filmed his Tesla Model 3 cleverly overtaking a garbage truck that made frequent stops by the side of the road. Uh, to a human, this may seem tribal, but not uh, to the auto uh, autopilot. Uh, Tesla made its autopilot much more complete by completely rewriting it into full self-driving. If you guys know, since then, Tesla has deployed a beta of its fully autonomous FSD driving for a small group of users. Recently, the Tesla updates um, updated this feature to make it even smarter. For example, if, um, we have seen yesterday Tesla's fully autonomous driving, detecting and avoiding a deer in the middle of the night. In fact, um, you, you, we see that how Tesla FSD is improving, but now there is this video of FSD, Tesla FSD overtaking a garbage truck stopped by the roadside. Before I go into details, let's watch the video first. So as you can see in this video, uh, Dave Mack, uh, a YouTuber, is driving down a long road and sees a garbage truck in the distance. Uh, once behind it, the autopilot, actually his FSD, uh, seems to move steadily to the left to check it, uh, to check if the traffic is clear to undertake and overtaking, um, uh, to undertake an overtaking maneuver. As you can see in the video, when Tesla Model 3 detects other incoming cars, it pulls back into the lane on its own. Uh, I thought that was interesting, but I'm going to talk about a situation that Tesla needs to talk about. They, um, even when the cars may seem very far away, uh, the Dave's full self-driving Model 3 prefers to to ensure the safety of the driver and does not initiate maneuvers. Uh, it is very interesting to see the car wearing slightly to the left lane as a human would do scan vehicles coming from the other direction. I think this is normal um, as the Model 3 veers to the left, the left camera notices the traffic that is coming through and the uh, left lane and detects uh, coming through the left lane and detects it for the appropriate um, action. Now, um, what if uh, uh, I was looking at comments in YouTube on Dave's YouTube and there is one person named Julian Leone who asks this question, which I consider very important. Julian is asking, what if the garbage truck was stopped right before a curve and then a driver comes speeding from the opposite way while the Tesla is doing that maneuver?
Now, that's very important situation. While I see it, um, will it see and react? Julian asks. And he says also, what if suddenly a car just makes a right-hand turn from an intersection past the garbage truck while the Tesla is doing the maneuver? What if there is a motorcycle or small Fiat um, immediately um, or a um, few feet or a few feet in front of the truck and it's too late to change back into the lane before an oncoming car speeding incoming car speeding uh, and julian says that i hope uh, tesla engineers thinking of any possible situation combinations uh, will be of unexpected situations and more that they're thinking about this and hopefully they will do something and come up with solutions i'm sure tesla engineers uh, i don't know how many people work there are also thinking about these situations and similar situations that we don't know and uh, the fsd is sending feedback to tesla and they are seeing the places where there is a human interaction needed uh, intervention and they try to uh, uh, to handle those now it is only after the garbage truck if you saw this video has stopped that the tesla model 3 decided to pass it because the opposite um, uh, left lane was clear and uh, the tesla seems to be steering to get back on track quickly but Dave Mack touches uh, the steering wheel to avoid uh, colliding with the with the garbage truck now it is important to remember friends that Tesla's full self-driving FSD is only in beta at the moment so the car may make some mistakes in addition drivers uh, must nevertheless remain vigilant even if they only have to touch the pedals or the steering wheel in an emergency and when Tesla was releasing the, uh, the full self-driving uh, to um, uh, to this group of people who are in the first FSD beta testers. Uh, Tesla was many, many times um, stressing the importance to be vigilant and stressing the safety and reminding that this is uh, this is still a beta test in fact here's a um, uh, we have uh, we have had a, a video on torquenews.com and torque news youtube channel uh, showing the, uh, the how the fsd figures out a parked truck and goes around it i will put the link to that video in the description of this video so you can you, you can watch it if you would like in the meantime tesla made full self-drive more accessible to some customers by lowering uh, the price uh, the soulful self-driving beta continues to impress everyone but many fans and tesla owners posting videos of their full self-driving experience on social media but with a price tag of ten thousand dollars it's just too expensive for many people and uh, honestly not many people will probably be able to afford the full self-driving hopefully that will come down as we have seen recently tesla prices coming down because of newer batteries lfp batteries but now this morning i reported that num multiple reports were coming from china and uh, denmark and also in uh, uh not denmark G germany that the full uh, those lfp uh, cobalt free batteries have some problems with cold weather you can choose that you can look that, that at torquenews.com slash tesla to for the details and our youtube channel also has a report on that so in the past tesla offered an in enhanced autopilot it's called eap purchase option to tesla owners while it's no longer available tesla offered many of the features that the full self-driving package fsd offers today and while eap owners can upgrade to fsd the cost is even more for them as they initially paid five thousand dollars and the upgrade cost was six thousand dollars for a total of eleven thousand dollars for fsd for those people who have and who have bought the enhanced autopilot eap now those eap owners are on even uh, even ground with everyone else uh, as electric reports those owners can now upgrade for five thousand dollars bringing their total cost of ten thousand dollars the same as anyone else buying a new tesla today um, while benzinga says while this is a nice step forward it could be even nicer if tesla 
Tesla gave these long-term owners a slight discount to upgrade. After all, these people have supported Tesla for years at this point, uh, funding it to go to this place as EAP was discounted, discontinued in February 2019. Either way, now um, owners, uh, EAP owners can get a test of the future uh, for slightly less than that day before. Now, I was looking at Electric. Electric's take is that um, Electric's uh, um, reporter says, I hope that Tesla will issue refunds to the EAP owners who paid an extra $1,000 for it, considering how Tesla has been pushing the idea that the price will only go up from now on. You know, it used to be $10,000, yeah, but now they, for them, it, it cost uh, the EAP, they ended, ended up paying $11,000. Those people have a pretty good argument that the main reason they bought the package, which has yet to be fully delivered, is because they thought the price was going to increase. However, the pricing difference between EAP and FSD has been quite hard to follow. The whole thing is pretty confusing. Either way, uh, Electric says, I think Tesla's price increased to $10,000 for a FSD based only on the beta release to a limited group of uh, people is a bit premature. And he says, I'd like Tesla to make the new features more widely available before asking for that kind of price. So I don't know. What do you think? friends let me know your thoughts this is armin harian from torquenews.com did you like this video uh, passing a garbage truck what other situations do you think tesla engineers need to consider when they consider different situations for safe fsd please write in the comments like this video it helps us and also subscribe to our channel please for daily tesla news this is armin harian from torquenews.com have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone and see you soon in our next report